Hey guys, for those that don't know, this is Charlie, my youngest son. Charlie, how old are you? Four. He is four. Uh, we're down at the club, down at Rise. Partly we've been out just doing a few jobs, uh, getting the car washed, uh, etc. And came down here to check the post and to have a quick workout. It's great for Charlie to be able to run around in, in a space like this. Uh, and Charlie sometimes does his own versions of workouts. And today he did a deadlift. And how did that deadlift go, Charlie? Good. It went good. Charlie lifted 15 kilos, which sounds like a phenomenal amount of weight for a four-year-old, but actually I think part of it is just the fact that I, I let him have a go and he's used to it and got the technique. But it was a personal best for Charlie, wasn't it? Yeah. And afterwards, as you may have seen, if you're a friend of mine on Facebook in the video, he said, I knew I could do it. And initially I was thinking afterwards, yeah, that's right, because we, we need to believe in ourselves. We need to feel that we can do something for it to happen. There's that old expression that whether you think you can or think you can't, you're probably right. And that's only half true. Maybe whether we think we can or can't might make it more or less likely, but actually we don't really need to believe in ourselves. Ultimately, the body and life and things respond to the actions we take irrespective of how we feel about them at the time. And thinking that we need to believe we can achieve something maybe stops us from trying to do it because we're not quite there yet. If we feel we need to, if we feel we need to wait until we fully believe in ourselves, then do we just keep waiting indefinitely? Charlie's fetched a chair for no particular reason. Uh, I've done things in the past I didn't really believe I could do. Um, I said a few years ago at Born Survivor, the obstacle course mud run event, that I wanted to, to try and get the fastest non-elite time for the day. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't really think that could. I didn't think for a second it would happen. But I went out there and gave it my all, gave it my very best effort, uh, and actually turns out I did on the end. Uh, I did it despite not really believing in myself. I, I gave it my best bet and uh, best go, and I was happy to fall short having tried my very hardest. Um, some of the things that I've done exercise-wise or business-wise, there was always that element of doubt in my head as to whether or not I could do it. But I did the things that needed to be done and the result came. So believing in ourselves is great, but we don't actually need it. If you don't think you can lose 20 pounds, you still can. Your body will respond exactly the same way to creating a calorie deficit and to exercise if you believe it's going to happen or if you don't believe it's going to happen. Belief's nice, but it's kind of what happens fundamentally that's important. Thinking and all that sort of stuff underpins our actions, but results come from actions and actions alone. So whether you believe you can do it or not, whatever that thing is, losing weight, getting fitter, getting that motion at work, <laughs> deadlifting like Charlie did this morning, it kind of doesn't matter. If we just choose to do those things that will lead to that result, the result will come if we're doing the right things, irrespective of how we feel. If one of the things you are wanting to do is to lose 20 pounds, then we're probably going to close off this coming week places for April when we're back in the club. Don't wait till April the 12th because the program will have sold out. It sold out for 70 consecutive months before lockdown last year. We're straight back to where we needed to be last summer. It will sell out this coming week. If you wait till April the 12th, then you'll either have to wait till at least May when there might be a space or you'll end up going somewhere else that's, that's desperate for business. And as always, it's worth considering why that is and why our program sells out. So if you want to lose 20 pounds, irrespective of whether you feel that you can or not, follow the link I'm going to put directly below this. And if you want some evidence of how the program works, I'll put a little video in there as well.